welcome to this regular expression tutorial and we have in the last episode matches any kind of email address but now we have some unique thing which is called look around or we have two different kind of things like look ahead and look behind and in each of these that means in look ahead we have to look behind we have to positive and negative so let's learn about this and for that now i will go to this website because now this we are going to play with groups and now we are going to see the result directly here on the right side so suppose i have a website which is like google.com then another website of google which is not secured so it doesn't have S here so this is very good but uh, now what I am going to do I'm going to firstly match it so how we can match yes I need to say first HTTPS then we need to escape it so like this and let's do one thing I will dump everything here so now we need to escape these things here and yeah so it matches first one but not the second so how we can match the second one it just has the problem with s so we need to make this s as optional so let's give question mark just after the s so now it became selected but you know we don't want actually to get all these things we just are interested in the actual name of the website that means either www.google.com or simply google.com so how we can achieve that first so yes we are getting that and what we can do we can just get all the things which are just after www or just after uh, this uh, forward slashes but you know that even adds one more step on our programming so why not handle this thing by regex so we have look ahead and look behind so first talk about look behind so yes we can say that okay i want to have matching of https colon slash slash but don't get that particular thing inside the matches yes i want to match it when you are matching but the result doesn't include that particular http thing so yes we can say this thing inside a group so we have said okay we have a first group of http and second group of www.google.com so yes you can get the second group also so if you say like this uh, this is also getting the same result but again it's a second group we actually just want the result the full match to be this thing not this thing so inside here on the first group so let's remove the second group on the first group at the starting of the parenthesis you need to say question mark then less than sign and then equal to so it just going to say okay match everything we have here so it says that don't include everything inside the uh, result so we are matching it but in the result we are not getting it so we have some kind of error so pattern error it's saying which is because of this question mark so question mark is creating the problem so if i remove that question mark you can see the full match is actually www.google.com Com and this is not working on the second case why is that so actually what we can say we can move this inside character set and now it's matching and eventually it's working fine so yes we have done that so this is actually the look behind or we can precisely say it is positive look behind positive means match everything you have here but again we have some uh, different kind of pattern that like say i have a price is dollar 400 then again i will say price is not dollar price is euro 400 then i just want to save the numeric value whatever it is from whatever is the currency so I just want to remove currency and the uh, the number so let's do the same thing with look around so now I will say I need a digit so digit matches 
more than one matches but uh, doing this is just going to match everything so this is also matches this is not any kind of price so it's just matches that but i don't want so here i can say i want to match dollar that's okay so it matches first one or euro so euro is also matches but you know in the match we are getting that euro and dollar so yes you can move this inside brackets yeah we are getting the second uh, we are getting the first group as this but as in the previous uh, example i want full match to be 400 not the dollar so i can move this inside the parenthesis and i will say question mark less than sign equal to and yes we want only the number so we are getting only the number nothing else so now after that let's talk about the negative look behind so negative look behind is just opposite we just want to remove anything which has this one and get all other things so like if i say for the look behind we just need to say this exclamation mark and now it will say okay i am going to match every digit which are not preceded by dollar or euro so if i say i just want to exclude the dollar one so i have excluded the dollar one so it matches the euro 400 because yes i said okay doesn't match for the dollar sign and doesn't include the currency in the result so result doesn't have the euro but it is matched but even after that this is also matched and two zeros are also matched so actually we just need to say here we just want three only okay so in that case it is done so again the 500 is also creating the problem so you can simply say another group and look behind or look behind with the positive for euro so now it's only going to select euro 400 and we are only getting euro 400 and in the result so this is all for look behind what about look ahead okay so let's tackle the look ahead situation and for the look ahead situation suppose you have a different kind of website names which i already have in the clipboard so paste it and now in this i just want to include the website which having dot ru in the end so yes we can include that so i just say a to z one or more then dot ru so this is good so dot ru is selected but i think let's let's change this one also to dot ru okay so we have selected that but here we have the problem with the hyphen so let's include that also so this is good but as we have discussed in the look ahead or look around system we don't want to include that ru we just want the website name not with the domain yes i want to check for the domain but not including the domain so now we need to say this uh, firstly we need to escape that character that dot actually so we need to say yes i want this so question mark because it's an optional thing but because we are going to match it so we we need to say equal sign so question mark because it's not going to include in the result equal to sign because we are going to match it so yes you can see the three uh, website are matched with the only the name of the website not the domain so same thing we can do with com also so i just want to the want the name of the website with the com so google is there and these two are also there and only the name so similarly if we want to negate it so that will be negative look ahead for that you just need to use exclamation mark so question mark will say okay it's not going to include it in the result but the exclamation sign says okay even i don't want to match this thing so after doing this we have some weird thing 
you can see this actually com is actually selected here so the problem here is with this a to z and plus sign we are saying that okay match everything but not preceded by dot com so regex done this smart smartest thing and it has only matched up to here because if regex match with s included in this website then it has to match this which we have said that okay we don't want dot com at the last so it has done some weird thing and obviously com is not followed by dot com so that also included so sometimes this lo negative look around is not so useful but we have it and you can play around that so suppose i just want to include this website and this website has uh, maybe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 uh, characters so i just say i want 16 so this is i think selected maybe 17 yeah so this is this these two are selected because they has 17 characters but it's 17 character with no dot com so if i make this one as dot com it's not going to match up so we have it and yes you can play with this so this is all about look around look ahead positive negative look behind positive negative and in the next episode we are going to see the anchors in regular expression and how they affect our coding process or uh, finding the pattern we will see in the next episode and if you are not following me on youtube and just go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then share this video with your friends bye bye